This is my Notion dashboard for work, the exact system I use to manage every project, meeting, and task for my job. Most people try to manage work with dozens of different tools, calendar apps, to-do list app, messages, sticky notes, and so forth. And it feels like you spend half of your day just organizing your task list. So today I'll show you how to bring everything, tasks, notes, meetings, and projects into one simple Notion setup. By the way, this job dashboard is part of headquarters, which is my all-in-one Notion template for work and life. In this video, we'll do a deep dive into the work section, but if you want to see the full tour, then there's a link in the description. Or if you're ready to set up your dashboard and follow along, then there's a link in the description to the template as well. Subscribe for Notion tutorials. Let's dive in. Let's start by looking at an overview of this page. So the job page here is broken down into a few different sections. Up here, we have your calendar system. So we have a my day version, which is like a list version where you can time block your day. Then we have a calendar where you will only see the tasks that are uncompleted. Then we have another calendar version where you will see every single task, whether it's completed or not. And then we have the month version where you'll see the entire month. So this first section here is your calendar. Underneath that, we have your tasks, which are broken down into your uncompleted work tasks and every single job task. So anytime a task is labeled as job, it will appear in these lists here. Then we have your projects. So again, these are only the projects that are filtered to do with your job. The way I like to work is to bring in projects from this no status list to either ongoing favorite or deadline. And I try to stick with the rule of only having three active projects on at any given moment for my work. That way I can make real progress on them. If I see here that I have space to bring in a project, I'll look at my list of projects and then bring them in by saying this project here, whatever that is, let's say I have a presentation that I need to make. What I can do is change the status here to fave, for example, if that's one of the main projects that I'm working on. And then down here, I have my notes. These notes here will be only to do with my job and I can also archive these notes as well. So now that we understand the overview of this page, let's dive into the sections a bit more deeply. So let's start by having a look at tasks. So I'll just create some fake tasks here for this tutorial. Task one, two, three, and four. Now in this template here, I have a few different properties that will help me in organizing my task list. So we have the importance, urgency, and state of mind. These three here will help me to reorganize my task list. Let's say task one here, for example, is not important and not urgent. But task two here is not important, but it is urgent. As you can see, it actually jumps up in my queue here. So because this is urgent and this is not urgent, this task list here is reorganizing itself. Let's say this one here is important, but it is not urgent. As you can see, it jumps up above this. And then lastly, we have important and urgent. And as you can see, this here will sit at the top. So my task list is reorganizing itself, which will help me in planning my day and in planning my week, which we'll get to. But before we plan our week, we need to understand the state of mind. Now we have flow tasks, quick, easy, and personal. You probably won't be using the personal tasks on the job page. That will be more used for your overall headquarters dashboard, and you can find all of those personal tasks here. But here I can label how much cognitive effort is involved. So a flow task will probably take about two hours to complete. So let's make a few of these flow tasks. Then we have quick tasks, which only take a few minutes. And then we have easy tasks, which don't involve too much cognitive effort. They're typically admin tasks. So now I've filled out the importance, urgency, state of mind. By default, when I add a task, it will be labeled as job. That is because we are on the job page. And then here I can label the project. So let's just say these are all to do with a presentation. And I'll show you why this is important as well later on. And now that I have my tasks, we can move into the next stage of planning, our calendar. So our calendar is broken into two main sections. We have planning the week and we have planning the day. You can see task one here has this date on it and that's why it's appearing here. So for task three here, if I say today's date, it will appear here in the calendar. Another way we could add it is simply by dragging it like this. And now they appear in the calendar here and they'll also appear under the my day tab as well. Now I have this productivity rule that I stick to. I can only have two flow tasks per day. That is because it takes a lot of cognitive effort to do a flow task and your brain can only handle four hours of full cognitive effort per day. So I'll look here and say, which of these tasks will I have to move to tomorrow? And since task three here is sitting at the bottom of this list, I'll move task three to the next day. Now that I've planned my week, I'm guessing you'll probably have more tasks than this. We can move on to planning our day. Now to do that, we can use this time function here. Now, depending on how you like to work, you might want to start off with an easy task. You maybe want to start off with a flow task. Personally, I like doing the hardest thing first thing in the morning. So task four here is important, urgent and requires flow state. I'm going to start my day with that. That will probably take two or three hours. 
So then after that, let's say that this here is at 12 and task two here will probably take about two hours. So let's say this here is at 2 p.m. I've now planned my week and I have planned out my day. And as you can see, there's a bit of breathing room here. So if we want, we can lift in other tasks. So let's say you had a few quick tasks here. If you want, you can simply drag these here to your day, whatever this task here is, task five. So I can say I'll do this here at 3 p.m. to end my day. So that is how tasks work and how they are connected to your calendar and to your day's plan. Now, when we added these tasks, we connected them to a project. So if I scroll down here under presentation in my projects, I can actually click on the presentation page and see all of the relevant tasks just to do with this presentation. I can also see all of the relevant notes and all of the relevant bottlenecks. And they are just to do with this presentation here. I'll talk about bottlenecks later on. But this here is really useful for my focus because what I can do when working on this presentation is open up this page and only see the relevant information. So that's how projects work in here. Now let's talk about the notes. Now having a note system is incredibly important. I'm just going to take a really bad note, which is note one, blah, blah, blah. Most note systems fail because when you take a note, you'll never see it again. So when designing the system, I wanted to ensure that notes can show up on the relevant projects. So here, let's say this note one is to do with a presentation. I can even select a topic of interest here. But as we take this note here, whatever this note one is, now when I'm working on this presentation, I can find that note sitting in here. It also tells me the time it was created. So as I'm working on this presentation, I'm seeing the relevant notes. And the cool thing is in headquarters here, you don't even have to scroll down and go to a specific project or page. I can just click here on take a quick note. Let's call it note two. The life bucket is to do with my job. The project here is this presentation, blah, blah. Click away and I've now taken that note. Now when I'm working on this presentation or whether I access it on the job page, when I click to open up this presentation and work on it, I can find this note sitting in here. This way notes are actually useful. Now, as you can see under notes here, we have bottlenecks. So let's talk about how bottlenecks work. If you don't know what a bottleneck is, it's basically a thing that's holding you back from making progress. So I'll click here on template. And let's say we are struggling with this presentation, for example. And let's just say the thing that I'm struggling with is that I'm bad at presenting, which is scaring me for this project. What I can do here is filter where I only want to see tasks relevant to this project here of presentation. I'm worried about presenting to the board, for example. But after writing about it, we're now going to take action. So here in this section, we can literally start adding tasks that will address this issue. So here I'll say practice presentation to my partner, for example. So I'll add today's date to this. So now I've come up with a solution to help fix this problem that I'm having. So now in the evening, I can see here, practice presentation to my partner. So let's say I'll do this here at 6 p.m. So with the bottlenecks, I can write about my problem and then create tasks that will hopefully fix that problem. All right, let's look at the last component of this job page here. Now I'm sure like me, you are stuck in meetings all the time. Now a meeting is simply just a task. So what we can do here is add when we have that meeting. So let's just say we have a meeting here at 4 p.m. And it's a meeting with the marketing department, for example. What I can do here is open this up. And on this page here, I can say that this type here is a meeting. So let's add that as a project. And anytime I have a meeting with someone, I'll add the project of meeting. I can also obviously add other projects. So let's say this meeting is about the presentation. It will now show up on the meetings page, but also on this presentation page. And when I'm in my meeting, I can use the AI meeting notes tool. So as I'm in my meeting, I can transcribe the whole thing and it will appear here in Notion. So then after that meeting, I can find that entire transcript and every other meeting I've had on this meeting page. So that is my job dashboard here in Notion, which includes your tasks, your calendar, your projects, your bottlenecks, your notes, and your meetings all in the one hub. And all of these tasks here are connected to your life dashboard as well. Your work and life is all in this one dashboard, but if you want to view just your work stuff, then you simply click on the job page and then it's designed to only show you the relevant stuff to do with your job. There's a link in the description to the template. As of recording, it's got 3,500 users and a five-star rating. It can save you hours every single week and it can make you finally feel organized at work. Again, there's a link in the description to the template. If you wanna see the full tour with everything that headquarters has to offer, then click on this video here for that full tour.